guys, today is another Create This Book with Cats episode. So I'm going to show you what I've completed since my last video. So the last one I showed in that video was to create a rule. So since then I've made this page, things you like, things you dislike. And so instead of making a list, I thought it'd be fun to make a picture over here. So I love my Instax Mini 9. And then I decided to make these like little instant film or Polaroid-like photos. So I love the ocean and birds like cranes. I love candy like Laffy Taffy and Skittles. Cats and sunflowers and food are also some of my favorite things. So some of my favorite food from like fast food places are McDonald's fries. Anything from Taco Bell, and I love Sonic's drinks. My favorite is um, a sweet tea with raspberry, and blue is my favorite color. And the other page says things you dislike, so of course I hate spiders, wet socks is not fun at all, sunburns, glitter, pollen, and latex. And latex is on that list because I'm allergic to it. And so I just drew a little spider, it says hi, and it's scaring the cat. So the next page says to create a music inspired page. And so here I have this little cat. He's listening to his little iPad and he's listening to Roar. There's the eye of a tiger and black cat. And on this page it was supposed to be a cat, a cowboy cat going dancing where he's just having the time of his life. But this happened instead. So he's looking at his stinky cowboy boots. And I call it, you can't go dancing because his boots stink. Super silly and weird, but I love it. Okay, the next page is create a page of garbage. So I've done half of this page already. So I have this little cat who's playing with toilet paper, which is something you throw away. And then the back of this it's just a napkin from Taco Bell that was not used. I colored the trash can and on this side I sketched out this picture. It's a cat who is digging through the garbage for a Q-tip. For some weird reason I have had cats in the past that love Q-tips and that will even knock over the trash to dig them out. And the sun's coming through the clouds and it's shining on it. So I use a black sharpie to go over my drawings and I love it, but it does bleed through quite a bit as you can see. And so this paper is just a piece of paper that I always stick behind it so it doesn't bleed through to the next page. Okay, so the next page is create a pet. So I'm going to create a pet named Jack. He is going to be a cat who is really a jack-o'-lantern and he has a ghost for a tail. So this is an idea I came up with for a squishy. So I've noticed with my book that certain pages come out. So it's like every two to three pages they come out. So I taped them back in. So this page came out, taped it back in so it sticks out kind of far. And then this page came out so it sticks out very far and so create a pet it, it comes completely out flip a few pages and I'm not like ripping them out they just come out the 
a few more pages, it comes out. Flip a few more pages, it comes out. Which is just insane. It's like that, you can just keep going and going and they come out. And something else that I've noticed is that certain pages like this are here, it's cut weird. And at first I thought maybe it was because I just had a weird defective book. But I did order um, this from eBay, so there's a possibility that, you know, it is not the real deal. It's like bootlegged. So someone made it, trying to make money. There's that possibility. I didn't think about it at the time when I ordered from eBay. Um, originally I bought it from Amazon, so I ordered Create This Book. Create this book too, and another um, book. I don't remember what it was called, a hundred drawing prompts or something. But I waited for like a month and it still didn't come, and I was getting restless and bored. And so I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can get it from eBay and use this one while I wait for the others to come in. So I got this one. I'm still waiting for the ones from Amazon to come in. They finally shipped. And so I'm going to compare the one I get from Amazon to this one because my fiance thinks that this is like a bootlegged book and I mean it could be I'm not going to stop um, making this book because you know I did spend money on it and um, I put so much time into it already it does make me upset that I spent my money on it and the pages are coming out so the next page of my book is to create a pet and this page did come out so I just went ahead and sketched it out outside of the book. And so this is Jack and there's his tail which is a ghost and its name is Boo. And I decided that it's their first birthday so here's a cake and he's kind of salty because he has a ghost as a tail and it won't go away. So I'm going to show you the pages I completed since the last time that I recorded. So I believe I was on this page. So this was Create a Pet. And so I colored and drew Jack and Boo. The next page says Create a Page of Polka Dots. These cats are all very creepy in my opinion. Uh, create a recorded conversation, sit in a room with other people, write down anything you hear. So I heard my mom say that the neighbors were shooting and it was scaring Fido. So where I live, it's common for people to do target practice in their yards. So we have Boom, he's running inside because he's scared and the cat is just not very happy that he's inside. Okay, so page 21 and 22 completely came out. So I got creative with it. So here we have a cabinet. So I turned page 21 and 22 into a cabinet. And so I didn't really try my best on this one because I was just a little bit aggravated with the page coming out. And so this is create an array of media. So draw one object over and over using a different medium each time. So you have this cat, he's like, I love you, feed me. And this is the cat snack drawer, which don't look anything like cat snacks. But I use colored pencils, crayon markers, crayon, sharpie, and flare pens to draw the cat snacks. It was a cute idea, but I just didn't think it turned out very good. The next page wants you to create folds. So I just folded the paper over 
And then I drew a little kitty who is folding his laundry. The next page says create letters. And so I have this cat spilling coffee and all the letters are made out of coffee. So I did draw a lot of these off camera just because I was just having fun with it. Okay, this page says to create a meal. And so every time I come to one of these pages, I get so frustrated. And it kind of makes me lose a little bit of inspiration where I don't want to try my absolute best on it. But here's me creating a meal. So I love my pizza. And so it says, don't forget about dessert. I don't really eat that much dessert. And so over here, I just put cookies because that's one of my favorites. But I also love spaghetti. And I just thought this was cute. The next page is create simplistic drawings. Fill this page with stick figure drawings. In the boat are two people and the girl is excited about going to Cat Island. And here is Cat Island. It's kind of goofy but... Okay, so on this page it says to create a family. And so I drew all the cats in my family. So I drew the indoor cats, the outdoor cats, my sister's cats, which I'm covering up her name, and then I drew Casper, who is gone but not forgotten. So for this page, I wanted to do something a little bit different, and so once again, I got frustrated because this is the page that comes out. I'm not very happy with the way the cat turned out, but it's okay. And so my last page, I'm going to skip ahead. This is create a collection. Start a collection, document it here. So on this page, I'm going to draw a girl brushing her cat. And this is weird, but I collected hair from all the cats and taped it into the book. So it's a collection of cat hair. So I cut out my picture, I glued it in my book, taped the top of it so both pages have tape on top so they don't get ruined, and it's finished. So in the camera this does look weird, but Chester has white hair and it doesn't show up on white. So I took some um, construction paper and taped his white hairs on that. I think it's cute. It's a very weird concept, but it's very cute. So I'm not going to show all of the hairs taped on, but you can definitely tell that there's some cat hairs. And some people might find this a little bit gross, but I mean, you know, some parents keep some of their kids hair, so it's not really that strange. I mean, it is strange, but it's not too totally strange, I guess. So this is the last page that I'm going to do for this episode. So my last video showed all of my um, squishy makeovers that I've ever made, so please go watch that if you haven't. But my cat audience says thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the book and I'll see y'all later.